Are you in the market for a safe? Have you started looking around and feel a little overwhelmed? What type of safe should you buy? That's what we're talking about today. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. One of the most important considerations you have when buying a safe is what are you going to put in it? What is the value of that content? Because safe prices can range anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to tens of thousands of dollars. So that's the most important thing. If you're not putting in a lot of valuables, you're looking to have a safe to just keep your kids out or the house cleaner out, you want to keep honest people honest, then a little tiny home safe like this might just be perfect for you. This is not an expensive safe. It doesn't even have a fire rating, but if you have some cosmetic jewelry or some family heirlooms or something like that that you want to protect, this could be decent enough to do that. Little safes like this, we always recommend you hide. If you haven't seen our video on the best locations in a home to place a safe, I'll put a link to that down below. But if you're not looking for security other than just keep prying eyes out, this might be a good way to go. You won't need an expensive safe. If you want to go to the next level above that, maybe you're looking to add a fire rating or something along those lines, then you're going to get yourself a little home safe. Again, these are not high-end security safes, but these safes here by Holland do come with a two-hour fire rating. So now you're looking to protect important paperwork and you're worried about a home fire, a little home safe could be perfect for you. But what if you want to protect valuables? What if you want to protect jewelry? then what are you going to use? Once you start to put valuables in your safe, so maybe up to $10,000, you want to go with at least a burglary rated safe. Now this is a little safe here by Berg Watcher that carries a burglary rating. If you don't know about safe burglary ratings, we did a video on it last week. I'll put a link to that video down below. Take a look. But once you start to increase the value of the content, you need to increase the security of the safe. With burglary rated safes, you get things such as thicker doors, glass relocker, anti-drill plates, thicker bolts, all increased security. So watch our video on burglary ratings from last week. You'll get all the details of that. Obviously, burglary rated safes come in different sizes. So you can get them as small as the one we just shown you all the way up to some the size of a refrigerator. So as the value goes up, the more content you put in, the bigger safe you want. Now, no one's ever came to us and said, my safe's too big, but we get people coming to us all the time saying, I've outgrown my safe, I need a bigger safe. With these burglary rated safes, they're fantastic and you can get bigger sizes. We recommend them up for content of about $10,000. Now, what about if you're putting a significant amount of money in the safe? I mean, we're talking a lot of money, over $30,000. For that, you want to make sure you bump up to a TL-15, at least a TL-15 rated safe. TL-30 can't be better. Again, we talk about the safe ratings in another video. This is a TL-30 rated safe by Holland. Comes with a half inch solid steel door, concrete filled walls, and a lot of the features that you get when you upgrade to a TL-30 rated safe. TL-15 safes we recommend, hmm, Ten to thirty thousand dollars worth of content. If you're going over thirty thousand dollars worth of content, get yourself a TL30 rated safe. So those are great safes at home if you're putting things in them for long-term storage. But what are your options for like businesses that have short-term storage? Let's talk about short-term storage needs. You're going to want to be looking at something like a cash drop safe. These are ideal for businesses who are dumping cash into them on a daily basis, but don't plan on storing the cash there for long periods of time. Now, you don't want to store cash in a safe for long periods of time like this because drop safes don't have fire rating. So they're perfect for short-term storage of cash, storage of other things that you're not concerned about catching fire. They typically have burglary ratings. Even this little tiny one has a burglary rating, but not long-term storage. So what about collections? Maybe you're a card collector or something along those lines. What are you going to look for? Well, the burglary rating that we talked about in scaling up, that still applies based on the value of the collection. But then you really want to make sure you focus on fire rating. Is a 30-minute fire rating enough? Well, for a house fire, yeah, probably. Because if you're in a residential community, by the time the house heats up, catches on fire, and exposes the safe to that heat, the fire department's normally already there spraying down the fire, cooling the house off. So if you're concerned about it, but it's not a major concern, 30 minutes is probably enough. 
Now, from there, you can go up to a 60 minute fire rated safe. So if you have a larger home, you want 60 minutes. And if you're a business or you have a high valuable collection that you don't want to risk, you want to go into two hour fire rated safes. Those are meant to protect collections for up to two hours from the heat of a fire. Now, I would always recommend getting a safe with a UL fire rating to make sure that it has actually been tested at that fire rating when you are putting valuables that are combustible into a safe. Another safe you might want to consider, especially if you're putting high valuables in it, is a floor safe. Now, we talked in considerable detail about floor safes in another video. I'll put a link to that video down below. But if you have a lot of valuables and you want to make sure nobody finds the safe or finds those valuables, a floor safe can be a great way to go. Only problem with floor safes is that they're a little bit hard to access. You got to get on your hands and knees to do it and they don't have waterproofing. So if there is a fire and they come in and they start spraying water all over the place, it's going to go right into that safe. But for protecting high dollar content, it is one of the best options that you have. So what about if you're protecting firearms? All the same rules apply. The higher the value of the content, the higher security level you want to buy. Now we start all of our stores with a line of safes just like this that go from the, hey, I just want to keep my kids out, keep them away from my firearms, all the way up in levels of security so that we can demonstrate for our customers exactly what they're getting for that extra money. So as you step up, you get some of the security items that we've already discussed. And again, check out our video on burglary ratings explained. Hopefully that helps you choose a safe. If you like this video, please click the like button down below and subscribe to our channel for updates and notifications by clicking the little bell icon. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. <laughs>